Hello friends, uh, welcome back to NPTEL online certification course on soil and water conservation engineering. I am Professor Rajendra Singh from Agriculture and Food Engineering Department of IIT Kharagpur. We are in week 4, lecture 18 and today we will see problems on bench terraces. Just to give you an idea about the course content of this week. We started lecture 16 with introducing terraces. In lecture 17, we saw some of the concepts or relationships how to derive for bench terraces. Then today's lecture we will solve problems dealing with design of bench terraces. In lecture 19, we will see broad based terraces and lecture 20, we will solve problems on broad based terraces. Now starting with the problem number 1. In a hilly region, bench terracing is proposed for cultivation purpose. The general land slope is 30 percent, average soil depth is about 1 meters, limiting the depth of cut 2.7 meters, riser is to be laid on 1 is to 1 gradient and compute the following that is width of the terrace and earthwork per hectare and its cost at Indian rupees 2.5 per cubic meter. So, this is what it is. So, land slope is given, uh, the depth of cut is given, uh, riser slope is given, we have to find the width of terrace and then we have to find out the earthwork and its cost, uh, the unit cost is given. So, that means the data that are given are land slope as equals to 30 percent, soil depth is 1 meter depth of cut which is d by 2 is 0.7 meters and riser slope is 1 is to 1. And uh, in the previous class, we derived the relationship between width of bench terrace and the depth of cut and uh, uh, that is the relationship we have to use here. But as I earlier also in the case of bund also I said, you typically need not remember the formula. You can go and derive the formula from the fundamental principles probably you understand the concept. So, let us try here, this is uh, for this one. This is the land slope which is given here, what is going on? I try again. So, this is the bench stress we are trying to do. And in this case, it is said that it is a uh, 1 is to 1 riser. So, that means here and that means the width will be further on the other side. So, this is here from here the width starts, this is this is d by 2 that is depth of cut. So, this is also d by 2 because the riser slope is 1 is to 1 and then we have w by 2 here. So, for this triangle a, b, c here and then the land slope we have is s by 100. So, this is s, this is 100. So, that means we have two equal well lateral triangles where we can write that d by 2 by w by 2 plus d by 2 equals to s by 100 or d by w plus d equals to s by 100 or 100 d equal to s w plus d s or, or s w or w s whatever you write or d 100 minus s on the left hand side equal to w s or we can write that d equals to w s by 100 that is the relationship we are getting. So, you can simply derive this relationship in in couple of minutes very quickly. So, d equals to w s by 100 minus s or from here we can write w equals to d 100 minus s by s that is the same manipulation here and because the value of d by w uh, d is given that is d by 2 is given is 0.7. So, d is available a value of s is known to us. So, by putting the value of d and s in this equation, we can find out the value of w that is 1.4 times 100 minus 30 by 30. 
so it comes out to be 3.27 meters so this is uh, easily we can calculate similarly earthwork uh, we deri derived relationship for earthwork so we have to calculate the earthwork and earthwork per hectare for a vertical riser is 1250d and again we derived very simply because we said that this is a vertical riser. So, basically we have to find out the area of this and this is d by 2, this is w by 2. So, that means the area of this triangle is half into d by 2 into w by 2 or w d by 8 and this has to be multiplied by length which is length of the terrace per hectare. So, w d by 100 times 10,000 by W that is the width uh, if uh, width is W then that is the uh, what it comes out to be. So, they obviously from here we can find out. Uh, so, it is W D by 8 it is not 100 W D by 8 equals to this. So, from here we get W W gets cancelled and we get 1250 D that is the relationship which we are using here. And in case of 1 is to 1 slope riser D equals to this. So, we have to replace in this equation. So, the earthwork per hectare for riser slope of 1 is to 1, we have this is the relationship we have to use 1250 d and in place of d w d 100 minus s just now we derived that also. So, this is what we have to use and if you do that putting the values here w value we know s value we know. So, putting here earthwork comes out to be 1752 or 1752 cubic meters per hectare obviously, this is everything is per hectare because we use per hectare length 10,000 by w in our deriving the relationship. So, cost of earthwork per hectare is because the per unit cost is given as 2.5 rupees. So, it comes out to be Indian rupees 4380. So, the answers are width of terrace is 3.27 meters, earthwork per hectare is 1752 cubic meters and cost of earthwork per hectare is Indian rupees. 4380. So, very simply we can solve this problem. Let us go to the next problem which is a design problem. Design a bench terrace for an area which has sandy loam soil and land slope of 15 percent. Tarot width x is a channel which is provided with a uniform grade of 0.4 percent. So, it is a uh, uniform graded uh, terrace basically. Uh, other details are maximum rainfall intensity of the area during 10 years return period is 25 centimeter per hour for the duration equal to time of concentration and total length of bench terrace is 150 meters that is the longitudinal length is given. Assume other information h per standards. So, these are the data given. So, if we sum the data, so soil is sandy loam, land slope s is 15 percent terrace channel grade is 0.4 percent, 10 year maximum rainfall intensity for duration equal to time of concentration is 25 centimeter per hour and length of terrace is 150 meters. So, for the given rainfall condition, we let us say that we choose a inward sloping bench terrace with a slope of 5 percent. So, it is a high rainfall area we are assuming and we are designing a inward sloping bench terrace with a slope of 5 percent. And we are also making certain assumptions that is the terrace width is 600 meter for the given land slope 15 percent and we are assuming a better slope of 1 is to 1 that is 1 is to 1 riser is 1 is to 1 slope. So, these are the assumptions we are making. So, let us go ahead. So, area of terrace is that is L by L times W. So, L is given as 150 meters. W has assumed the 6 meters and divided by 10,000. So, that is to invert convert into hectare. So, it comes out to be 0 0.09 hectares and this is the area which will act as catchment area. So, whatever rainfall occurs in that, that has to be drained out and uh, the peak discharge to be handled, we typically use rational formula. We have seen that many times Q equals to CIA by 36, where I is the rainfall intensity in centimeter per hour for duration equal to time of concentration which is the case given here in this case the problem it clearly states that uh, rainfall intensity is 25 centimeter per hour area we have obtained a 0 0.09 hectares 
and the c value runoff coefficient we are assuming is 0 0.3 because it's not given so we have to assume so the q comes out to be 0 0.01875 cubic or cubic meter per second please remember that cubic meter per second is also written as cubic so sometimes some of the textbooks you might come across the term cubic which simply refers to cubic meter per second you must remember this so now we have to design the uh, cross section so let's say that uh, the depth of channel let us assume is 0.3 meters so here we are assuming that this depth is 30 centimeters or 0.3 meters and this is the batter slopes 1 is to 1 so obviously this will be also 0.3 meters and the terrace width is 6 meters but we are also assuming that shoulder bund the bot, bot base width of the shoulder bund is 0.75 meters so that is why effectively the width of the terrace which is available is 5.2 meters or that the area where so flow will take place is 5.25 meters so area of the flow available in the area of the triangle abc which is the sum of two triangles adb and bdc there are two triangles so area of this is half into uh, perpendicular and base which both are 3 0.3 so half into 0.3 into 0.3 in this case it is half into 0.3 times 5.25 half into 0.3 times 5.25 so this is 5.25 and this is 0.3 which is already specified so the area total area comes out to be 0.84 square meter that is the area over which flow will take place so now weighted perimeter also we have to find out so weighted perimeter uh, weighted perimeter we already know that it is this length ab and bc and because we know this we know this we know this so we can always find what is the value of what ab and what is the value of bc very easily so the weighted perimeter is ab plus bc so the square root of sum of uh, 0.3 square plus 0.3 square here is square root of 5.25 square plus 0.3 square and on solving we get weighted perimeter equal to 5.68 meters and the hydraulic radius which is ratio of area and weighted perimeter area we have calculated weighted perimeter we have calculated so the value of r comes out to be 0 0.148 meters or we assume 0.15 meters so now we have to use manning's equation for calculating the velocity of flow so v equals to 1 by n r to the power 2 by 3 s to the power half n value manning's n we are assuming at 0 0.04 so 1 by 0 0.04 r value we have calculated s value 0.4 percent is already given so 0 0.004 we are putting here and the velocity comes out to be 0.45 meter per second which is a non velocity velocity because we know that even for sandy soil the value is 0.5 and otherwise it is uh, 0.69 these are the recommendations so it's a non erosive velocity we calculated so now using the continuity equation q equals to a times b and 0.84 into 0.45 that is these are the values we have calculated and uh, the, this comes out to be 0.378 cubic meter per second and uh, the calculated discharge capacity is 0.378 cubic meter per second where the required capacity is 0 0.01875 cubic meter per second so the calculated discharge capacity of channel is much larger than the required capacity so uh, as far as design is concerned there is no problem as far as safe disposal of runoff is concerned there is no problem but only cases that is a, a, it's a case of over design so here we have two options we may either accept the design or go for another iteration by assuming a lower drift of channel so that also is possible that we we start with 30 centimeters or 0.3 meters we can also go and lower the channel uh, width mm, uh, anything is possible so now we go to next problem that is problem number 3 that is design a 150 meter long inward sloping bench terrace for an area having an average land slope of 20 percent the soil is clay loam the terrace channel has uniform grade of 0.5 percent 
the maximum intensity of one hour rainfall for the location is 10 centimeter per hour. So, uh, the type of terrace is already given, its length is given, land slope is given, uh, grade is grade of the channel is given and intensity maximum intensity rainfall is given. So, these are the data which are already available with us. Now, uh, the, that means the data given are type of terrace is inward sloping terrace, length of terrace small l is 150 meters, land slope s is 20 percent, soil is clay loam and terrace channel slope is 0.5 percent and maximum one hour rainfall intensity is 10 centimeter per hour. For the terrace, we may assume that inner end is 0.2 meters lower than other end. So, that means we are uh, instead of slope, we are saying that uh, elevation difference width we are assuming is 4.5 meters, uh, which is uh, generally recommended that 15 to 20, 25 percent it could be 4.5 meters, 25 to 33 percent is 3 meters. So, these are general recommendations, we can use them and batter slope is 1 is to 1. So, these are the assumptions we are making, 3 assumptions. Now, we use rational formula all the time to determine the peak runoff rate which we have to do here also that is q equals to c i by 36. So, first thing is that we have to find out what is the area of the terrace which is the width times length. Its width is 4.5 meters, length is given as 150 meters. So, it comes out to be 675 square meters or 0 0.0675 hectares because 1 hectare is 10,000 square meters. So, using that we can calculate the area. Now, in this case, we have to determine the time of concentration because you remember in C i a, i is intensity for duration equal to time of concentration. We have given, we, we have been given in the problem one hour rainfall. So, we have to find out the time of concentration and for that we typically use Kirpich formula which is T c equals to 0 0.0195 l to the power 0 0.77 s to the power minus 0 0.385. So, length of flow is typically the length, the length, uh, the longitudinal length and the width of terrace. So, that is why I mean if it is, if terrace is uh, like, like this here, something like this. So, obviously, the flow has to traverse this distance and the longitudinal distance. So, width times plus 150 that is the total this length one has to traverse and that is the length of flow is maximum length of flow is 154.5 meters. And total fall over the flow length there are two fall one is in this direction and one is the longitudinal direction. So, this fall is already given as 0.2 meters we are assuming that and this is uh, channel is graded grade slope is given as 0.5 percent. So, over 150 meters we have to find out that is 150 times 0.5 percent. So, the total fall comes out to be 0 0.0.275 meters. So, the slope is total elevation difference over total length so which is 2.0.275 by 154.5 or 0 0.00178 and that is the value we have to use for S in case of Kirpich formula. So, now we know L, we know S. So, by putting in this formula, we get T c equals to 10.8 minutes. So, this is the time of concentration, time of concentration is 10.8 uh, uh, minutes. Now, uh, we have been given 1 hour intensity of rainfall which is 10 centimeter per hour, but our, uh, our, uh, uh, our uh, time of concentration is only 10.5 minutes. So, we have to find the intensity corresponding to that. For that, we can use a standard nomograph which relates 1 hour rainfall intensity in centimeter per hour to rainfall intensity for any duration in centimeter per hour and for different durations, these curves are available. That is 5 minute duration, 15 minute duration, 30 minutes, 60 minutes and so on and rest of the values we have to uh, typically interpolate. So, now first we get our reference, 1 hour intensity is 10 centimeter per hour that means our value will lie on this line. 
So, this is one thing and we have to talk about 10, we have to search for 10.8 minutes, this is 5 minutes. So, here this line this is 5 minutes and this is 15 minutes, this is 5 minutes and 15 minutes. So, somewhere here our value will lie and uh, typically if we take half is that will be 10 minutes somewhere here and this is 22.5. So, that is why we may say that it will be around 22 centimeter per hour. So, that is why from the nomograph we get that the rainfall intensity for 10.8 minutes that is our time of concentration comes out to be 22 centimeter per hour. And then we assume a value of uh, runoff coefficient is 0.6. Uh, so, Q will be C i a by 36. So, 0 0.6 times 22 times this is the area we have already calculated. So, the flow comes out to be 0 0.025 cubic meter per second or Qmax 0 0.025 cubic meter per second that is the discharge that has to be disposed of. Now, we have to check for flow velocity of flow and carrying capacity of the channel formed by construction. So, let us say that this is our typical uh, drawing for this particular one. So, this is the inward sloping bench terrace, the elevation difference is 20, 20 meter 0 0.2 20 centimeter or 0.2 meter which is shown here. The total uh, width we assumed as 4.5, but we are also assuming that uh, the shoulder burn has a base width of 75 centimeter. So, that means the flow the width of terrace which is available for flow is 3.75 meters and this is the typical dimension of the uh, solder burn which is being used here and uh, this is riser is 1 is to 1 that we have assumed. So, basically uh, the total area of flow is this one, this is the total area of flow uh, which is uh, sum of the areas of two triangles A, B, C and B, C, D and because this is 0.2 meters, this is 1 is to 1. So, this is 0.2 meters and this is 3.75 already given. So, we can easily calculate the area of these two triangles or the total area that is the total flow area basically we can call it is a flow area, total flow area is available with us. So, uh, calculating area of A B C, A 1 is half times 0.2 times 0.2 and area of B C D A 2 is half times 0.2 times 3.75, you can calculate this and the total area will be 0 0.395 square meters. Similarly, we require weighted perimeter which is A B plus B D because all dimensions are known. So, we can easily calculate the length and it comes out to be 5.54 meters. So, weighted perimeter comes out to be 5.54 meters. So, hydraulic radius R is ratio of A and P that is cross sectional area and weighted perimeter. Cross sectional area we have calculated, weighted perimeter we have calculated. So, value of R comes out to be 0 0.0713 meters or we are simply taking it 0 0.071 meters. So, this is the hydraulic radius um, for the uh, design section. So, using Manning's formula we can calculate the velocity of flow and velocity of flow is 1 by n r 2 bar 2 by 3 s to the power half and the values of n we are assuming at 0 0.04, r value we have already calculated 0 0.071 and the uh, channel slope already is given grade is given as 0 0.5 percent. So, that is what we have to use. So, using this we get velocity of flow is 0 0.3 meter per second which is non erosive that is because it is less than 0 0.69 for normal soil. So, that is why it is a non erosive velocity 0 0.69 meter per second that is the recommended non erosive velocity limit. So, so here using continuity equation Q equals to A B or a value we have obtained is 0.395 and velocity value is 0.3 we have calculated. So, it comes out to be 0.12 cubic meter per second. So, the carrying capacity uh, comes out to be 0.12 cubic meter per second which is the calculated discharge and which is larger than the required capacity which is 0.025 q 
cubic meters because this is the flow we calculated q equals to c i a b c i a b c i a by 36 this is the value we got that is 0 0.025 cubic meter per second. So, that means that is the flow we, we wanted to dispose of and the channel section we have designed that is the capacity to take to carry a discharge of 0 0.12 cubic meter per second. So, which since it is larger than this, so there is absolutely no problem. So, we may go ahead and accept the design. So, that is how the channel cross section can be or the terrace design can be completed. So, now we go to the next problem which says that on a 20 percent hill slope it is proposed to construct bench terraces. If the vertical interval of terrace is 2 meters calculate the following length of terrace per hectare, earthwork required per hectare and area lost per hectare both for vertical cut and better slope of 1 is to 1. The cut should be equal to fill so the balanced cross section that is what we always. So, 20 percent hill slope is given, bench terrace we have to construct, vertical interval is given is 2 meters, we have to calculate the length of terrace, we have to calculate the earthwork required per hectare, we have to calculate the area loss per hectare for 2 cases when the riser is vertical and the, when the batter is 1 is to 1 and of course, this is the guideline that cut should be equal to fill, this is what is the problem. So, that simply means that for this problem we have given land slope s equals to 20 percent and vertical interval that is d equals to 2 meters, two important uh, conditions are already given. So, let us say take a case of case 1 where it is riser is vertical. So, width of ter bench terrace we calculated in this case it is w equals to 100 d by s because value of d is already known. So, 100 into 2 by 20. So, width comes out to be 10 meters. So, width of terrace is 10, meter, 10 meters and uh, the length of terrace per hectare that means the per hectare area divided by the width that will give us the total uh, length of terrace per hectare. So, this is nothing but uh, just now calculated value of w. So, 10,000 by w, w we are putting directly value of 10. So, we get the length of the terrace per hectare is 10,000 uh, meters. So, total length of terrace will be 1000 meter for per hectare area and the earthwork per hectare we design uh, we calculate this relationship 1250 times d. So, there is very straightforward relationship and because the value of d is known to us. So, by putting the value of d equals to 2 the total earthwork comes out to be 2500 cubic meters. So, that means if the riser is vertical the width is 10 meters the length of terrace per hectare is 1000 meters and the earth for per hectare is 2500 cubic meters. These are the answers we get, but we have another case where, but we have to also case where we have to find out the uh, uh, area uh, that is lost. So, here earlier we derived it for 1 is to 1 uh, riser slope in the previous lecture we derived it. So, let us consider the original length a e which is converted in terrace bit b d of width w terrace b d of width w. So, a e. So, here it is here in this case it will be d and w. So, a e uh, in terms of d and w this is not a b this is a e because here we are calling it a e. So, a is equals to d square root of d square plus w square because this is w and this is complete this to this point is d, this is d. So, because balanced is so cut and equal to fill. So, area lost will be the this is the original area, this is the width we are calculating and this is the original area. So, original area minus area which is available divided by original area into 100 that is the area lost in percent and value of d is 2, w is 10. So, by putting the value of d and w we can find out and it comes out to be 2. So, that in case of vertical riser the area lost is 2 percent. 
Now, we have a case of 1 is to 1 batter slope. So, with uh, relationship already we know we derived in first problem number 1. So, w equals to d 100 s by s and because d in s is known. So, w comes out to be 8 meters in the vertical riser we got 10 meters in this case we got 8 meters. A length per hectare will be uh, it will remain the same because we in the bottom it will be w plus d. So, 10,000 divided by w plus d. So, it is 1000 meters the length remains 1000 meters, but the width is lower now that is important point to note. An earthwork per hectare will be 1250 d and in place of d we are writing uh, uh, in terms of w s for 1 is to 1 riser and by putting the value of w s here we get 2500 cubic meters. So, it remains the same as in case of riser a vertical riser. An area lost per hectare this is a relationship we derived in the previous class that is s by 200 divided by 200 by s s by 100 or an s n value is known to us. So, 20 plus 200 200 by 20 20 by this will be 100 basically. So, this comes out to be 220 by 10.2 or uh, 10.2 uh, basically and then it comes out to be 21.57 percent. So, area lost per hectare is 21.57 percent. So, here we can see that when we use the vertical riser we only lost 2 percent of area, but when we are using 1 is to 1 riser we are losing almost 21 percent of the area. So, with this we come to the end of this class. So, we have seen that uh, whatever concepts we know with that we can solve and design solve different kinds of problems or design bench tests for different given cases. So, as we have seen that frequently you have to use a uh, Manning's equation frequency frequently we have to use the rational formula. So, these things you should always remember and also the general relationships uh, if you remember the equations that is fine otherwise you can derive also as I have shown that it is easier to derive provided you remember the principles behind uh, each one of them. So, you can easily derive any of the equations. So, I hope that uh, with this uh, you will be able to design bench terraces. Uh, please do solve some problems on your own so that you are in practice. Thank you very much.